Most Nigerians have always wondered, what exactly did Dr. Bukola Saraki achieve while he was governor of Kwara State? We were curious too, so we decided to take a look at one of his legacies, the International Aviation College, Ilora. We caught up with three pilots, part of the pioneering set who now fly with major Nigerian airlines. What they shared with us were the success stories of Nigeria's first state-owned aviation school. What we discovered was part of the legacy of a visionary leader, which has trained over 100 pilots in five years. My name is Juan Shudunke, and I presently fly for Tropical Arctic Logistics. It's a helicopter company. Ajibade Amololu Adegui, uh, fly for Airpiece Limited. Demilola Falabi, I presently work for Dana Airlines Limited. It was interesting. There was room to be diligent, to take your time. We had, we had a set of instructors that you couldn't rival anywhere. They were experienced captains. We the first set. They had to make sure they gave us proper training. They had to make sure we were up to standard because we were going to be benchmark. IC was a very good school. Um, we had good aircraft, modern aircraft, what you were going to find in airlines. And then we had experienced instructors, instructors that been flying for years from the days of Nigerian Airways and some even military. Sarah was the only school producing pilots for the country. Then they came around and IAC didn't just follow the norm, get Tampico aircrafts and Cessnas. They went out of their way to get new technology at that point in time. Uh, Garmin 1000 fitted aircrafts. Diamonds 40s and 42s. Basically, we have one aviation school which was NCAT in Zaria, and that is the only school that has been producing most of the Nigerian pilots that train in Nigeria. It seems a contradiction, but there's actually a gap in the number of pilots needed and the number of pilots available all over the world. Nigeria is no exception. Okay, the reason why I said it's a contradiction is you also have pilots that don't have jobs presently. That is an experience gap, okay, which IC also feels in a way. All right. Now, as far as uh, impacting the nation, they produce pilots. I am one. We have several in the industry, okay, and wherever they are, they are right now, I can guarantee you that they are doing their best. Actually, I was made to train in England. I was already there. I'd already deposited for my training, and uh, it came out on the news that there was a new aviation college in Ilori starting up. And my dad heard it and he went there to check it out. And he called me and he's like, you know what? Collect your money back and come here. You need to be here now. Like, you need to come and see the infrastructure, the aircraft, and like you can't compare. Come back and come and join this school and come and pioneer, be a pioneer in this school. So I was reluctant, but you know, I said, okay, I'll come and check it out and see how it goes. So I came to Nigeria and I went there and I was shocked. Aircrafts were nice 21st century aircraft, glass cockpit, diamond 40s, compared to what I saw in London, which were old archaic aircrafts. The uh, accommodation was a home away from home. It was, it was like a hotel. Uh, everything, was, everything was just, it was shocking for me and I was impressed. So I told my dad, oh yeah, definitely, I want to come here. The world had moved from steam gauges to glass cockpits and we're using that to introduce us to that. You don't come with that fresh from school stuff, you come with an edge. It's more 21st century, good aircraft, good location. Our training was faster than most of my contemporaries in NCAT. Um, I know in Ilori the weather is, they have better weather year round compared to other flying schools where they're located and all that. And also the town in Loring, I found that it wasn't just a village, it wasn't just a big village, it was a nice city, you know, good people and lots of fun places, places to hang out. It opened my eyes to, to the fact that it's not only Lagos that is fun in Abuja and Port Harcourt. I it was like the, I would call it the door to like the cultural experience in Loring and Kwara State in general. The other thing that tripped me is that there's at least six or seven higher institutions in that town. Yeah. yeah. Universities a lot. And colleges, <laughs> maybe even more. There's so many. 
so we have lots of students, lot of young people that are like our age. Uh, you know, Fun, mingle different people. So at least there was an intellectual yeah. match. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was an eye-opener. Yeah. Lagos. Ah, Lagos is the life of, yeah, of the party. And we had the world-renowned mm -hmm. met instructor. <laughs> hey! <Yeah>. Or <laughs> so. <laughs> Your captain. the captains that were teaching us. Yeah. He, was, he was 72 at the time. <laughs> I don't know how IAC pulled off. I don't know how they got him out of the time. Exactly. Kudos. And he was happy to teach us. <laughs>